how did this come around, right? I mean, it seemed like once the co-main event fell off this card, you were right there on Twitter saying like, hey, put me in against anyone, I want to do it. Why did you choose to do that? And then how did Bilal become the guy? It was, it was that week, you know, to be honest, that week was a little crazy. I, I kind of felt some, something was going to happen. Monday, we went to Universal. Wednesday, I went to, to Mexico with my wife. I think... I think Tuesday, Leon Edwards gave an interview saying he, he's injury, he's not looking to fight right now. He just fought in October. That's where the first thing is say, okay, I got to fight. And then a couple of days after, I saw Charles Oliveira pulled out and I saw an opportunity there. But I was just like, I was just thinking, who, oh, you know, just. And then, Bilal Mohammed tweeted out. A hey, Kobe, and then I just look at that tweet. I say I'm gonna do the same thing. A hey, Kobe, blah 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 blah, and then I start talking to to. Right after I tweeted it out, I already reached out to to Ali, Dana, Sean Shelb, Hunter, everybody. I just I just start pushing. Hey, I'll fight. Da da da, and then uh, Sean Shelby hit me up back and said we have. Uh, we don't have Kobe. Kobe's not available. He's going to fight for the title, but we have Bilal Muhammad. I say, done. Let's do it. And then, and then Saturday to Thursday was a lot of back and forth. He didn't want to make weight. I said, no, he's gonna make weight. And that day, that same the night that I fought in Miami, he gave an interview. Say, oh, I'm pretty light. I can make weight. If they call me to make weight to be the backup, I would be the backup. And then a couple of days later, oh, I cannot make weight. I was just like, no, he, you're going to make weight. And I think it was just a little part of negotiation. You know, I think he was trying to, to get more money. I got it, you know, so he asked for that. Uh, catch weight, I said, no, I'm not doing no catch weight. Especially right now that I'm like, I, I said, I've been changing a lot of bad habits, trying to eating good, doing a lot of different stuff. Now that I'm lighter, no, I'm not doing no catch weight. It was a little back and forth on that. Then he asked for more money. Then a lot of back and forth, eventually, Thursday, I got the call. The fight was a done deal. He even asked for five rounds, and I was so happy. I said, let's go. Five rounds. I love it. And uh, and then we're here. Yeah. Um, can you walk us through what the last 13 days have been like since you arrived here from the time you confirmed the fight? Um, well, I arrived here yesterday, so the last one day since I arrived here. No, I mean, like, from the time you agreed oh. to the fight up till when you came here. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I was just sitting there minding my own business, chilling in Toronto, and then all of a sudden I get a call, and they ask me if you want to fight, and you know me, I love to fight. So uh, I was excited for the opportunity. It was a huge opportunity, and I just couldn't say no. So got right back to work, called my coaches, called my team. We all said, let's do it, and um, I'm ready. And it's no ordinary short notice fight, right? Like, on top of the stakes, the five rounds, you were just dealing with Ramadan as well. Um, so, like, what were all the considerations that you went through, or I guess what was, like, the most important thing to figure out? I mean, most important thing most of the time when you have a fight is where's your mentality at? Where's your mind at? Because you could sit there and train your body for eight weeks, feel the best you can feel, and then if you just feel something trigger in your head, something where you don't feel right, like the whole fight, the whole camp will be worth nothing. So during Ramadan, my mind is the strongest it's ever been. Spiritually, mentally, like, it just puts me on a whole different level. So to know that my mental game was 100%, I didn't care what my body game was. I didn't care what the, the weight cut was. I didn't care what the, the rounds were because I knew mentally I could get through anything. And I know that for me, like, it's all about God's plan. And I felt like God put me in that position at that right time to be in that right shape for this one moment. Because this moment right here is where careers are made, where, where legendary stories are told. And to be able to do that off of that, I want people to sit there and be like, how? What did you do? What are you taking? There's nothing that nobody could deny me for after I win this fight Saturday night. I mean, obviously, the next question is then the stakes, right? Have they guaranteed you if you yes. win, you get to fight for the title? Both. They guarantee us both. If Bilal Muhammad wins, he's next. If I'm winning, I'm next. So then, where do you see Bilal's biggest threat to you, right? I mean, his last fight, he showed good striking. He finished Sean Brady on the feet. But before that, he's traditionally a guy who pushes people against the, the cage and holds them there. Where do you think he's going to fight on Saturday? He's going to be a hard fight because this guy knows how to win. And, and that's, that's a big thing because we see a lot of guys, they're so talented, they're so good, but they don't know how to win. They just, as crazy as sounds, they found a way to lose, you know, and he, this guy's the opposite. I don't think he's, 
He's not a spectacular striker. He, like I said, he's not great at anything. I don't think he's, oh, wow. He's, no, but he's good at everything. And he knows how to win. There's a, there's a hard fight right there already. And uh, the craziest thing is that guy is so hungry, too. When he asks for five rounds, like, I, I kind of like my eyes blink. I'm like, man, I, I like this guy. Like, shit, he's, I got to respect the guy. So I think he's going to be so tough. I think we, I, for sure I'm looking forward to knock this guy out or submit him. That, that's what I'm going to do every time that I step in there. But it might be a five rounds war, you know. He's he's a tough one. He's as hungry as me, the hungriest guy on the on the world of it, on the world of it, the world of it, as me and Bilal Muhammad. So I think it's gonna be a war. Like best strikes that he has, he has a high volume in striking, a uh, lot of movement, takedown defense, takedown offensive is good, takedown defense is good, in a high volume in the striking. I think that that's his best weapons. Yeah. Yeah, and um, like comparing what you went through to a Gilbert, it's different, right? Because he just went through a camp and he just fought. Uh, it wasn't the toughest fight in the world. But like, do you think this is a a more difficult thing for him to turn around after just fighting, or is it kind of equal? Not really. I mean, for 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 any fighter to have two fights off of one camp is the best thing ever, right? Because you know you didn't take really no injuries in a, a Masvidal fight. Then they tell you, hey, you want another payday in a couple of weeks? And you're like, oh, for sure, I'm down uh, because you're in shape, you feel good. Um, but for me, it's it's different because, you know, I was in Miami. I saw it. I felt the energy down there. So I had the mentality of feeling good. But then you still have to get your body right. You still have to, all right, we have to put the rounds in right now to see where we are. We have to see where our timing is. We have to see where our distance level is, our wrestling is, our cardio is, our grappling is. Um, so it's a lot different for me. But, no, it's still, obviously, you still need respect for taking a fight because you could have sat there and won the Mazadal fight and, you know, sat in the corner and be like, yo, sat on your place. I said, I'm not fighting anybody but for the title. So for him to accept a fight like me, it's going to be tough because you're going from fighting a guy like Masvidal who's not a, as hungry as I am. He has all the money in the world. Now you're going against a starving dog, a guy that wants it more than you do, a guy that's going to die in there. And how are you going to deal with that? In MMA, it's there's never any certainty, right? Like you might think you know what's going to happen and then it doesn't happen and it always changes and this and that. But for this one, it feels like whatever happens, you win, you get to fight for the title again. So how motivating is that knowing like, look, I got one more, he's tough, but if I get through him, I'm fighting a big fight next time for the world title. Yeah, it's, it's I'm putting so much work on it and I'm just able to do those back-to-back -back fights because it changed a lot of habits in November. Since like... It feels like I knew that something big was coming because November decided go plunge every day in the morning, wake up first thing, and then no more sugar, and then Fox on sleeping, and then ch change a lot of training, put more PT. I don't know. It, it feel like I was getting ready for this thing, and I didn't know I was getting ready for. So, yeah, it kind of is a big fight. Nothing. It's still nothing is guaranteed, you know. That's why I I still gonna get a finish against this guy. I do believe if I go out there and finish, done. I'm set, you know. We we gonna fight next fight for the title. But if end up being a freaking boring fight, it's still it's still a maybe, you know. So it's always a maybe. So I think, uh, I think I'm getting the respect that I deserve because. Dana said, Dana and Hunter, after the fight, make that question for him when you guys see him because he said, you next in Miami. But when Leon pushed that fight to October, I said, you know what, I'm not going to take the risk. So I'm not going to take the risk of waiting. I'm going to take the risk fighting for what I want. And I believe, I believe if I get a great win against Bilal Muhammad, yeah, I'm next. So the motivation is 100% in there. I love to fight. I'm very fortunate to do what I love. I know a lot of people in the freaking entire world, they work in the jobs that they don't like it. They just have to provide. They got to pay rent. They got to work. So they do a lot of kind of jobs that they don't like. I do what I love. And I'm very fortunate to do that. And the motivation is on the top. You know, I want to go out there and finish this guy. Very happy to do my third fight in freaking five months. One month after Miami, back here in New York. Yeah, super motivated to get this win. And uh, when Gilbert was in here, he said that both of you had been guaranteed a title shot. Whoever wins this fight, that's your understanding as well, correct? Yeah, that's all I needed to hear. I got, you know, you go through every fight and you're, you're wondering what else is next. What do I need to do? Who do I need to beat? Is it going to be one more, two more? And I was sitting in that 
you know, that point where it's like, all right, well, maybe I'll wait for Usman in July. And we were talking about that fight. And it was either July or August. And I'm sitting there like, all right, I could go through a whole camp, wait all the way to August, and you could still lose a fight. You're going against ex-champion against, like, Usman. Or I could just take this moment right here, right now. I feel great. Uh, I know I could be ready for this fight and get a guaranteed title shot after that. It's like, that's what you always fight for. You always fight for, to, to want the gold. The gold is the, the gold. And... That's what I wanted. So once they said that, I didn't hear, need to hear nothing else. And just last thing for me, um, as far as when that title fight could play out, uh, what are you thinking is going to happen here? Because Leon saying maybe October for him, uh, mentioned Abu Dhabi. Do you think, is there any way you slide in and maybe get that spot over Colby? Or do you think you're going to have to sit out like eight, nine months or something to wait for it? I mean, for me, I think if I put on a great performance this weekend and you know get a tremendous finish or something, they're going to Abu Dhabi. You think you're going to have Leon fight Kobe in Abu Dhabi? No, you're going to have me fight in Abu Dhabi. And it'll be like the dream come true. And I think that'll be like how the story's supposed to be written. But I still got to, I just got to do my work this weekend. And I don't really care when nothing else is because I know my next fight's going to be for the belt. And last question for you is, is, you know, obviously this, everyone's considering this a number one contender fight. We are probably not going to see that championship fight happen until later in the year. Would you be willing to sit? It might, might be close to a year, nine months before you fight again. Is that something you're willing to do? <laughs> they give me the hardest question. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, we don't win over Bilal Muhammad and, and really earning that title shot. Yeah, I'm not going to sit down and wait. For sure, I'm going to be training. I'm going to be staying, improving, getting better. And like I said, everything goes on my way Saturday, May 6th. And they still don't give me. They still give him the title shot for Kobe. I'm I'm going there for a backup. You know, like I said, I love the opportunities. I'll be ready for any opportunity. But it, let's say if I go out there and and I, I just make weight and these guys still fighting each other, I'll, I'll I'll wait a little bit and fight the winner. Just like I said, the homework is done. You know, I put all the work. It's still two more days of working. Get that Saturday. Get this. Great performance, beat Bilal Muhammad, and then I'll be next, you know, for sure. Back up and stuff like that, but yeah, no. Then I'll, then I'll, I'll wait up a little bit. Appreciate this fight, figure out the fight. Uh, the fact that you were kind of asking for 175 pounds uh, first, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, whoever who wants to cut weight, it's like you're taking a short notice fight. Uh, I sat there, I was in Canada actually doing a, a charity event, and I was like, man, I got to try some of the poutine out here. And then they called me with the fight, I was like, bro, I'm about to sit down and eat this fries right right here. Let's let's see if we get this. But uh, for me, it didn't bother me. I don't, I don't think the weight cut's going to be an issue. Uh, obviously, I'm going to ask for it if I get it. If not, whatever. And he said that you also asked for the five rounds. It was your side. Why did you ask for five rounds? Because it's a championship fight to me. It, the winner of this fight's fighting for the belt. I think this fight could be a title fight right here. So I wanted to have that feel. I wanted to have that championship feel. I wanted to make it feel like... This is my title shot. I want it to be that big. This fight is that big. This fight should be for a title. This fight is up there. We're the two best welterweights in the division, I think. And Saturday night, it should be for a title. So in my head, my mind, this is the biggest fight of my life, biggest fight of my career, and I'm going to show up Saturday night.